Okay, I am back. I show you guys should check something. Wow, not much going on. So, how did it feel? You sure you wouldn't be rather asking if I'm feeling all right? Oh please, you've had a 1.21 giga. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a Back to the Future reference? Yeah, it's supposed to be a reference to the Back to the Future. <laughs> God, it's been a long time since I actually watched that movie. I stood on your face ever since you came back, so how did it feel? Liberating? I've only ever used so much power once before against the Guardian, and I wasn't in the best of states then. And on top of that, this time I was using it to do something I myself decided on. So really, it was an experience. I see. The presence of a personal purpose behind actions. I know what you mean. But to be honest, I was referring to getting carried around the school bridal style in the big, in the big hug you got afterwards. Um, it, it felt. It felt amazing. And not just because it was a warm hug. He actually touched me himself. He, I don't think he could stand being in my immediate vicinity not too long ago. And now... Well, sounds like you're back to the starting point then. What's the next step? Janara, you should eat it before it melts. What's wrong? You don't like this mix of syrup? No, it's delicious. It's just... Amber is fine, pip squeak, hell better than before, remember? I won't believe it until I see her with my own eyes. I get that. Still, we overcome that hurdle so worrying as much as before is useless. Just wait, shave, just wasted shaved eyes. Shaved eyes. Why didn't she come see us immediately? Seems like that poor shaved ice won't have the honor of being eaten. Titania to the rescue! Hey, give it back. You weren't eating it, some tropical fruit. I was about to. Gimme! Why don't you just get another one? I don't want another one. I want that one. Because it's mine. Give it back. Nope. <laughs> Are they really fighting over shaved ice? <laughs> uh, okay, let's browse around. Okay. My name is Penny Palandina. And as far as anyone knows, there's only one of me. I mean, there is. There is only one of Penny, but Penny is made up of more than just the Penny people see. God, that's a sentence and a half, but... When I was born, it was a complete surprise. My father hadn't been actively looking to create me. I was an unexpected miracle. A byproduct of an experiment in the pro properties of dust crystals. A newborn soul trapped in such a small core without any ability to interact with the world or learn. As special as my existence was, I would have been I would have the same life of a plant or a particular precious paperweight. So my father decided he would build me a real body. But there was a problem with that plan. Benny, there you are. 
Where did you disappear to after lessons over where over Oh Evelyn, I'm sorry, it's just I wasn't really hungry. Penny, you're never hungry. What's wrong? I I wanted some time to myself to think. Did did something happen? Nothing yet, just I've recently had to face a situation that so far I've always been shielded from. And yet, all I can do is ignore and repress it. There's no cure, just caution. And yet... Does, does this have to do with that checkup Noah accompanied you to? In a way, but please don't. I've told them that everything was fine. Then something is wrong. No. I mean, yes. I... Ugh. This is so illogical. Are you in danger? No. That's good. Then try and explain what's bothering you. There's something about me that it's been with me for as long as I can remember and it will keep on being so forever. I, I had gotten used to thinking of it as an ally, something useful, but now I've recently realized it may be harmful and I will have to learn to live with it. Sounds familiar? Oh, my nose. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I guess if anyone would know that it feels like it'll be you. Yes, so don't make my same mistake. Don't be a martyr. Don't think that you have to keep your problems from us. If something's wrong, just tell us. I survived. We survived because we have a lot of friends and we kick some considerable ass, but... There was no small amount of luck involved. True. And remembering the way I felt in Burrito, I... There's no way I would ever willingly put anyone through that myself. Good. Yes. Good. Do you... Do you want some company while thinking? What about lunch? Well, at the moment my stomach starts grumbling. I promise. Okay. First, there's gotta be a story thing. There's no way that there isn't. They're leaving it open at night now, huh? Cool. Part of the royal castle. Would make sense to have some secret passages in the in the place in case you needed to hide. I bet that before they put the elevator in, the vault was inaccessible. Inaccessible. Except from here. I wonder if this place has any other secrets that Osmond doesn't know about. And how exactly does Amber know about about it when he doesn't? One explanation I can think of is... Correct your brows no longer, my friend. For, for I may come to lay your doubts to rest. Amber, oh my gods. <laughs> you wanted the elegant. All right, intangible. Mm, quite. I I wasn't prepared for hugs. Really? Considering the circumstances, you should have expected it. I understand you must have been worried. How long has it been since we last spoke? Weeks. And the only reason why we even discovered what happened to you was because of Osbin. Could you please elaborate? From my recent conversation, it seemed like the headmaster was doing his utmost to keep my presence a secret. I see. Makes sense for how Osbin operates. Jack's face when she told us was, I'm just thankful we were so lucky. Also very brave. You risked much to help me, despite everything already on your plate. For that, you have my internal gratitude. Nonsense. Like we would ever leave you behind after everything we've gone through. Also, Trenar would have probably tried to kill us again. I see. Then I'm thankful for having such good friends. And speaking of which, now that my memories have returned, there's a lot I need to tell you of. 
Does it also tie into your relationship with the Royals of the of Vale? Did the secret passage give it away? Only recently learned that Beacon was built where the Royal Palace was once stood, and that most of it is gone now, except two things, I bet. This ballroom and the vault. And if Osmond didn't know about that secret passage, despite being the headmaster, I'm prone to believe that it was the knowledge revealed by the royal family when they left. Precisely so. Granted, most of the secret passages were brought to light when this castle was brought down, but this one was never discovered because of its nature. Only a fall maiden can operate it. To others, it operates and works as a normal stone wall. A fall? Why would there be such a specific contraption in the Vasilian royal castle? Because since the creation of the kingdom, the Fall Maiden has always been the Queen of Vale. Is that why your speech is so different now that you're of one mind, your highness? Silly, the Queen was my mother. Oh my, I'm, I'm sorry. It happened years ago, Noah. But your condolences are most welcome. I see. Still, wouldn't that make you... My father is still alive, and even then, there's nothing for us to rule over any longer. He and my mother were the last ones to ever be crowned. Their last act as regents was an advocate in favor of the Grand State, which still calls itself a kingdom out of respect. I was born in exile, so to speak but we kept our traditions going even so. A tradition like passing down magic powers from mother to daughter. Quite. The maiden of maidens have existed for thousands of years, Noah. Do you really think this was the first time one of them was attacked or that someone tried to steal their power? How would that make sense? No, I get that. I was more wondering how do you pass them down so secure Purely to the point of building a lineage around it. Maiden powers were indeed gifted to the original maidens by a wizard, as in the fable. Establishments to the sides, there is something that wasn't added to it. The powers automatically pass on to the last person the previous maiden was thinking of before she died. Oh, I see. Quick question, what happens if the person doesn't think of anyone? What happens then? Or better, I see how that could lead to attempts on their lives. Originally, the existence of the maidens was public knowledge. Not all who sought them out were soul, souls in search of a miracle for a sick relative. The tipping point came when the different clans in the Valesian region went to war over possession of the Fall Maiden, who was at the time just a child. Claiming that one, the Maiden War, after ten brutal years of carnage, established the king, kingship in their leader, took the Fall Maiden as his queen. And to prevent any further fighting, they made it so the Maiden's powers passed down from mother to daughter. But that means that you, your mother... Yes, I have seen the light leave my mother's eyes. And I was the one soul in the room with her when she passed. That's a terrible thing to do to a child. I agree. But it was necessary. My mother left us in her prime. And if there's no one no one or someone unsuitable in the maiden's thoughts, the gods only know who on remnant the powers are going to be passed to. Unsuitable. So there's more rules. Males cannot become maidens. Also, the older a woman is, the less likely it is she can successfully inherit which is why it eventually became more likely for people to try to control or get in the graces of maidens until the knowledge was eventually re regulated to the realm of fables. Exception made for the enemy. Cinder's master, or better mistress. Yes, what do you know about her? I know that she is the person Janara is based on, which makes her tied to the boss. Also that Osbin has been some kind of relationship with her. Uh, excuse me? 
A big reason why we managed to get in the vault is that Gennaro lured Osbin out of Beacon and into Vale. Just one look at Gennaro and he became incredibly interested in her, in meeting her. Considering Gennaro looks like the, this enemy, I can't help but think there's a personal connection there. I find that hard to believe. How so? Whenever I heard anyone speak about the enemy, two things always stuck out to me. First, her actual name, always spoken in hushed tones, Salem. Salem. And second, well, the organization that tries to keep the maidens safe has existed even before the founding of Vale, in one form or the other. The only constant has ever been Salem. They have been fighting her and her subordinates over the eons. So she's that long lived. There's definitely a possibility that the boss and her have met then. Ospin is a normal human. I've seen him grow old, so I don't see what kind of personal connection he could have to the enemy. Far as I know, she hasn't revealed herself to anyone in thousands of years. She prefers fighting her battles by proxy. There's another mystery for the pile. And we can reveal that Ospin's older as he looks as the boss already gave the answer. Oh, whatever. We can wrap our heads around all this stuff later, alongside everyone else. Right now, I'm just happy to see you again. And knowing you're getting better. Thank you, Noah. I... I'm very happy to see you again, too. You know, when I... When I was... Never mind. That's a conversation for a different time. I say, what about we organize another war council with everyone else? That would be ideal, yes. We can catch you up to what's happened while you were away, and we can talk about what comes next. And I can divulge further information without having to repeat myself. So, um, I guess, good night. Yes, good night, Amber. It's great to have you back. I know. I can feel it. Again, that soundtrack is so disappointing. Now, depending if nothing goes on after... for tonight, that's a story thing. James said he will have enough to cover the school by the weekend. I see. Where are we going to tell the students? They're sure to ask questions. Of course we're going to tell them the truth. We're experimenting with a new surveillance system in collaboration with Atlas Academy. A system they will be seeing operating in Vale City as well for the duration of the Vital Festival and the period leading up to it. I see. And what about Amber? I haven't decided yet. You haven't decided? But she's healed. She no longer needs the machine. She could just as easily spend her conveyances in a bed now. First of all, the vault is still the safest place for her to recuperate. Second, what if that is what they want us to do? Osbin, you paranoid, cowardly, foolish man. You mean the enemy? There's no sense to healing Amber, considering that if she died, the Fall Maiden's powers would be automatically transferred to her assailant. Unless what they want us to do is make us bring her out. What you just said contradicts itself, Osbin. I'm pretty sure he real does he realize he's really pushing the envelope? Like how how ridiculous and absurd that sounds. Like even Glinda looks like what the fuck is this dude saying? Always oh, good to have a drink on hand. 
Especially when you're talking a lot. Ugh. Oh, god damn it. But they were alone with her for at least a few minutes. They could have easily killed Amber. This can't be about her powers. No, so we have to consider that there might be something else they're aiming for. Wow. This man just... This is one of the reasons why I hate Osman. This is the reason why. One of the many reasons. There's many more, but this is one of the main ones. Including that maybe healing her isn't the only thing they've done to her. Can you just put your faith in people for once in your fucking life? You... Like, not everyone is... Okay. I'm mixed it. I can't even speak words at this moment with how ridiculous that sounded. Okay, let's see if there's a story thing. Nope. Then we can continue with Penny. Even if I could have a body, I wouldn't know how to use it. Humans, animals, they're born with the instinctual knowledge as to how to move the body. Bodies they're born with. They develop and experiment as their bodies grow and develop. But human babies do not need to learn how to breathe or to make blood flow in their veins. I could learn where there's a cons consciousness, there's a way to communicate, but again, I would need a body that I didn't know how to use for that. So, my father also created someone who could operate that body for me while I learned, while he studied. The other penny, my machine side, as I put it to Noah. So that's the outfit Noah was talking about. Well, it's not really an outfit, is it? It's what you wear underneath. Now I understand why it got him so flustered. <laughs> yeah, when he first saw it, he had a reaction. When does he not? Anyway, he told me that it doubles as a monitoring system of sorts. Are you having any trouble adjusting to your new body? Oh no, I'm fine. It's just that for Papa, I'm, my very existence is uncharted territory, so the more that he has, the better he can work. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that also the purpose of your weekly Saturday checkups? Well, yes, but 24 hours, 24 7, 7 coverage allows for a much larger wealth of data, data. Or maybe your father was just worried about you? Um, I guess he could have been, yes, but... No, but, silly. I guess that's still something you have to get used to. Let's say... Okay, the analogy is terrible, but you know how a towel can be used for a lot of things. Its intended use, though, depends on the need of the, at the moment of the buy. Um, yes. Okay. Believe me when I say that Mr. Paladin sees his primary role as being your father, not being a scientist. But science is... Research is his passion. It's his whole life. Are you sure that's not someone else now? I... I don't really... Of course, your birth was... Probably different from a normal human's, but he's the one who chose to call himself, call himself your father. And there's a lot more meaning behind that word than simply DNA donor. Keep that in mind. What was your father like, Jack? 
My dad was the best. One time he... Oh, come on. True, I put now everyone wants to hear Jack's fucking thing, but come on. Good morning. Wednesday, day 157. What the fuck? That's probably my sister. Hold up. I need to go check. me to attend? Yes. Everyone else was in agreement. More or less. Your contribution has been absolutely invaluable, Seal. So we thought it would be only fair for you to meet the person you helped save. But, but I only helped you because you blackmailed me. Sort of. D don't you think that maybe I could get the information laid out to me and... If you had wanted to, you already would have. Also, exposing us would expose your collaboration as well. So I'm positive you won't do it. Still, I... Why are you treating me like I'm part of your stupid team all of a sudden? I don't understand. Seal? Is there something you want to do? Huh? Well, my prime directive is... That's not what I'm asking, silly. I have a prime directive too. And saving the world is a great objective my father gave me. I can't wait till I'm able to accomplish it. But it's not something I've come up with myself. Something I want to do just because I do, not because of a prime directive. Don't you have something like that? I... I want to make my father proud, but that's not... That's normal, no? Not really, no. What? You mean you don't? Nope. But, but he's your father. Why wouldn't you want to make him proud? Because he already is. Seal, there's a difference between what you think will make your father proud and what will actually make him proud. And when, when is the last time you heard from him? When I left for Vale. You should call. I'm sure you'll be surprised. Also, you should come to the meeting. And you should hang hang out with us more often. I'm sure Papa won't mind being left out an escort for a few hours at, at a time. Alright, I'll, I'll think about it. I still don't feel comfortable coming to the meeting tomorrow. That's alright. I understand. But if you change your mind, you know where to find us. Penny? Yes? What is it? What is it you want to do? I want to make lots of friends. And live a long, happy life with them by my side. Okay, let's look around. Okay. Let's just do strength. Let's keep on getting that power up. No story. I feel like I missed something. Hold up, I'll re undo the whole thing with sun. Aha! 
My father never really gave it a real name. What he envisioned was a sentient version of the autonomous nervous system. For the first six months of my life, all I did was lay down. At first as a core, then inside a machine body, while my father tried to find a way to make me interact with the world. Then my father finally found a way to communicate with me. He found a way to really talk to me, to teach me and make me learn, and to make me interact with this body. On the eve of the seventh, I could see on the eighth, I could sit. Then I learned to speak and so on. I couldn't do all of this because I could do all this because Machine Penny was there to help me help make the task easier. Still, eventually, even learned to replicate her function. Still, I eventually even learned to replicate her functions. What then? Father gave me my first choice. Oh wow! Fire dust price has gone up. And I decided that I didn't want her to disappear. I wanted to give her a new function. And the occasion came when I discovered my semblance. It has? Yeah. Periodically for a time now. Seems like Atlas has been sending smaller and smaller shipments. Hmm. It is weird. Maybe there's a sudden shortage or problems with acquiring supply? Although I haven't heard of such a thing. Or maybe the store owner is biased against you because we owe him a truck. <laughs> that was actually a good joke. Great job, Penny. Uh, it wasn't that efficient. No, I swear. You've come so far ever since we first met. I have, haven't I? Well, considering that your original idea of having a friend seemed to come out of a TV show... Now if you've grown confident enough to use self-deprecating humor, you go girl. I guess that placing myself in an uncontrollable environment is what made the change possible. If I had kept only being able to interact with people for minutes at a time, I would have never been able to learn. Yeah, like I don't know much about the Atlas Army, but you can't get more control than the military, can you? Indeed. But to secure the funding need for my growth, Papa had no choice but to register me as a combatant. It took a while to convince General Ironwood to allow me to even travel with him to Vale. And he definitely didn't expect Noah. <laughs> Who could ever expect old Crater Face? Oh? Well, Noah doesn't seem to have any acne problems. Do you know something about his skin condition that I don't? Penny, that's no... Psych. Gotcha. <laughs> oh my god, need to get used to this. <laughs> Let's say you met me at a very strange time in my life, Ruby. Now, I'm getting over it now. Promise to never get over me. Okay, let's we'll see if there's a story thing, then we'll go to... Oh. Penny number four. Actually, before that, I'm going to end this part here. <laughs>